Jessica, town health officials are quick to point out that this is a precautionary measure here in Plymouth, but they believe it is a necessary one because the danger from Tripoli is one that has already visited this community and others here in Massachusetts. We had an animal test positive in Plymouth, the only animal in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. So I think that that puts us a little bit more in the spotlight for a high risk status with Department of Public Health. The high risk of Tripoli in Plymouth is leading public health officials to begin aerial spraying tonight. This precautionary measure has been used in years past. We just want people to be vigilant, right? Triple E is rare. It's a rare virus, but it is serious and it definitely can cause some serious complications. Plymouth is one of eight towns in the county of Plymouth that will have aerial spraying. Southern Worcester County, where a man was exposed to eastern equine encephalitis a week and a half ago, truck mounted sprayers will drive through five towns. The virus that causes Tripoli e is spread through the bite of infected mosquitoes and the virus can be deadly. Plymouth has decided to close their fields and parks from dusk to dawn, again, because that is the most prevalent time for mosquito activity. Signs about the spraying are posted on barrels like this, with QR codes that take you to the state's website with more information. In Plymouth, the closure of fields and parks is impacting, but not canceling, school sports. Well, games and practices won't be held during peak mosquito time. The spraying with an EPA registered product will take place between dusk and dawn. And if you'd like to take another look at that spray map, as well as find some mosquito safety tips, you can find all of that on our website, WCVB.com. Reporting live in Plymouth, Todd Kiskevich, WCVB News Center 5.